I think that I'm just about as competitive as they come. Golf is truly one of the most frustrating sports there is. You gotta be dialed in all the time. I have definitely considered quitting golf many times. Golf is not one of those sports you can blame your teammates. It's you versus you out there. One bad swing can really deter a round. At the same time, you know, a couple good ones can get you right back in it. It pushes me to be better because there's always another shot to be hit, and that's, that's the best thing about it. What's your Shannon. name? Shannon. Shannon what? Shannon Kennedy. Okay. I started playing golf when I was five years old down at Detroit Golf Club. My dad got me into it. I would say I love competing more than I love the actual game of golf itself. I had some success in my early years playing golf. Everyone in my town started to know who I was. My name was in the paper and everyone would say, oh, Shannon Kennedy, the golfer. All these expectations and this pressure I was putting myself kind of just caused me to crumble and I started shooting, you know, high 80s, low 90s. Not ideal for somebody who's trying to go play college golf, that's for sure. During the peak of all of my struggles, I got a text from the Michigan State golf coach, Coach Stacy. It said, hey, do you mind giving me a call? I called her and she answered and we caught up a little bit, got to know each other. And then she kind of started like getting after me saying, you know, like you're too good to quit. There was just something about her that I just could not let go of. She had good mechanics, the length, you know, the way she could hit the ball was very, very impressive. I just had a feeling that there was something inside this kid that was just really special. After that phone call, I, I was kind of taken back for a second. I kind of just said to myself, like, I want to go to Michigan State, and if she gives me a chance, I'm going to be the best chance she ever took. Her freshman year was lots of learning. She was so lean, so lanky, but didn't have the muscle to do what we were asking her to do with her golf swing. So really training in the weight room was a big thing for her. Freshman year I think was really eye-opening for me. I kind of got my butt kicked when I got here. It was obvious at the time that her golf game wasn't where it needed to be, but the one thing that was obvious was her determination. That was very clear. And I remind our players on a weekly basis that you get one shot at this, give it all you've got, because you can't ever go back to it. And I think after freshman year, I said to myself, Shannon, you only have a certain amount of time to do this. Let's do this the right way. I started waking up early, doing everything I could, the little things right. And honestly, I still played terrible all summer. I definitely uh, thought about quitting quite a few times. The mindset is like, I'm doing this to get better. But it's a process. You're getting better, you're grinding. <laughs> And when things aren't going your way, no one's coming to save you. Sometimes you just have to dig down and pull yourself out of a hole. Come on. If you really love something and you want something, you have to work for it. Nobody's going to give it to you. And I've learned that, and I think that's the most valuable lesson I, I could learn. I think it was a Tuesday morning and I got a text from coach saying, hey, uh, can we meet in my office? I wanna talk to you. I walked in there and she was crying. So I was like, uh-oh, like this could be really bad. And I sat down and she was just like, I've known for a long time that you were a special kid and you've worked so hard and we're really proud of you and we're gonna put you on scholarship for the semester and I wouldn't be doing this if you didn't deserve it. It's just the thrill of saying to a young person that you have done what we've asked. You have excelled in everything that you've done, and this is one small way that we can reward you. Brings me to tears, if you want to know the truth. I mean, it's, she's, she's like the dream story. I think in all of our minds, there is that one little part of us that thinks she may never play. When I give a, a young person a, a walk-on spot like that, and you know, do they really understand what I'm saying when I say it's a grind? As someone who's done this a long time, as we all do, you know, you just get feelings about people. You meet someone and you have a connection with them. When you have the, the chance to be around a young person that has a long ways to go and actually does that in a short period of time, it is what makes coaching worth it.
I don't know why she took a chance on me all those years ago, but she knew there was a reason, and I'm glad she did. If you would have told me a year ago that I'd be sitting here talking to you about any of this, I probably would have called you crazy just because I was really far off from where I needed to be to play in a national championship and win a regional. It makes all the hard days worth it, having those successes and to do it with my teammates by my side. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more.